Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome back to another West Coast Daily Shade. I'm your host, Gerardo Jimenez. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm about to get into a shave this morning. Got a 15 hour shift I need to prepare for in a little bit and I'm not looking forward to it one bit. Anyway, let's get into today's shave of the day. Today we're gonna to be using, this is Deep Blue Sea by Sterling Soap Company. We got the accompanying matching splash. And about two weeks ago, it was my birthday, I turned 27. And I splurged a little bit. This was on sale over at Macy's and I had some Macy's cash. This is Blue de Chanel Parfum Concentrate. Very nice scent. It's become my absolute favorite. It's supposed to be a beautiful, warm day here in Southern California, so I figured why not go for a, a nice citrus shave. Uh, today's brush, we're going to be using the Paladin. This is a PK47 in, I believe, Ebonite. Absolutely beautiful brush. Handmade Select Badger right there. It's incredibly soft tips. And today's razor, which I forgot, so give me one minute. Okay, and today's razor is going to be the Blackland Blackbird. This is the brass version of what people have been uh, dubbing the Brass Bird, which I feel is very, very cool. So the Blackland Brass Bird is what I'm going to call it. And inside is a Persona blade. So we're going to get into the shave today. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse the face, cold water rinse, soak the brush, and we'll be right back. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and load it right off the top of the book. Uh, according to the uh, to the website over at West Coast Shaving, uh, this is a combination of a clean, uh, it's a clean fresh aroma with vanilla, mint, vetiver, and citrus. And to my nose, uh, this actually smells a lot like the description of Chanel, uh, of uh, Blue by Chanel, or Blue Chanel. And I get, um, I get a hint of pineapple, I definitely get the lemon and the lime. Um, a lot of people have a, a sensitivity to mint. I get no mint from this. Maybe like a slight herbal hint of mint. Um, I do get the sweetness of vanilla a little bit. It's not cloningly sweet, sweet, but it's a little, um, a hint of sweetness from the vanilla. It is a very pleasant scent. It is a, a great bright citrus scent. Um, it is about mint strong. I'd give it about a... Um, about a five or a six. It's uh, it's it's a uh, well scented, but it is a little on the lighter side of mid, I'd say. And keep loading just a little bit longer. I want to get a nice good load on that brush. All right. Now there's a little bit of soap here building up on the side of what people have called a proto lather. It's just lather. Um, we're gonna go ahead and apply that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I kind of almost knock everything over here on the counter. I don't have a whole lot of space. And we're going to go ahead and rub that in to my face a little bit just to add a little more to the lather that we're going to build. Go into a face lather. So Sterling Deep Blue Sea was originally just a limited offer. It was a new scent that they released for their Black Friday um, last year in, in November, sorry. And it was so popular that they re recited, decided to re-release it as part of their permanent edition along with Haverford, which is a uh, Tom Ford clone of Tobacco Vanille, which I did a video back on not too long ago. And Hipster, uh, which is there, and by there, I mean Sterling, uh, Sterling's in-house, like their own original blend. And that one's supposed to smell really nice as well. I'm a big fan of citrus scents. I'm very much a citrus person, citrus and floral kind of guy. So it's right up my alley. It's just a really sweet, well-rounded, uh, it's a crisp, uh, citrus type scent. 
It's going to be a great addition for the spring and summertime that are quickly approaching us. I've been getting a lot of rain here in Southern California lately. Well, there's more rain on the forecast from what I see. It's supposed to rain next week on uh, Wednesday. And I've been dying to wash my car and I can't because there's no point in washing my car if it's just going to rain again because it's just going to get dirty. So what's the point? All right. So here we go. First pass with the Brass Bird. Uh, I've never used a Black Land Razor before. Abraham over at West Coast Shaving spoke highly of it one time when I met him in person. Right away, I can tell you guys this is a very heavy razor. It is made out of raw brass, so it will patina. It will build a very nice patina on its own. Um, I typically don't really like a patina on my razors, but um, we'll see. I'm the type of guy that likes everything nice, shiny, and polished. But it does look very, very beautiful, this razor. I get little to no blade feel. I'm trying to be very careful. I don't want to cut myself. Since it is a new razor to me, I don't want to mess around with it too much, and you know, but the the angle on the head it seems really easy to find. Yeah, the head of the angle is is really easy to find, actually. I don't have to mess around with it too much to find the cutting angle, which is great. And it feels really smooth. All right, fantastic. First pass complete. I had about three days of growth on my face and the razor just mowed it down a lot. Actually, that's really, really dang close. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rinse off and we'll be right back for pass number two. Okay, we're back for pass number two. And as always, when I rinse off, I don't always completely rinse off my face. I leave a little bit on to uh, add just a little bit more to the second lather. And of course, with sterling, you get a nice, creamy, uh, slick, and pretty dense lather at a very competitive price point. So, honestly, sterling is. Um, as of now, in my opinion, probably is still the best bang for your buck for very well-performing tallow-based soap and their aftershaves are really good. Second pass across the grain, which I forgot to mention. I'm 
I'm using very little pressure. This Ranger has very good audio, audio feedback. I don't know if you guys can hear that on the camera or not, but I hope you can. It sounds really loud. Which is good. Because it tells me that it is working. It looks like I uh, sliced open something on my chin there. It's okay. That's just unbelievable. Okay. Gonna rinse off for the third pass. And we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Third and final pass against the grain. And generally I like to do a cleanup pass off camera. But this razor is cutting me so close, and I don't even think I won't even need a cleanup pass, but we'll see. Yeah, this scent is amazing, guys. It's really good. <clears throat> like on the face, it's just a bright, clean, crisp, sorry about that, <laughs> a bright, clean, crisp, citrusy scent. And I think it's in a category where everybody is going to enjoy this one. It's not polarizing. And it actually, it's gotten me a few compliments already. Well, the parfum has anyway. But I enjoy this scent. It smells very similar to the parfum. Yeah, this razor is just ridiculously smooth.
double chin technique courtesy of Paul H. Sorry, I'm not saying much, but I am actually really enjoying the shape. Personas are really sharp blades, and it's a winning combination in this razor. Persona blue with the blackbird, very good blade combination for me. All right, and we are done. No cleanup pass required. The razor is incredibly efficient, but it has a mild face feel. I don't know if that makes sense. Give me one second. say I've had such a great experience with a new product in a very long time. That was amazing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and shake up the, uh, the aftershave splash. Um, I opted to have no menthol in this aftershave splash. I didn't want the menthol to get in the way of the scent at all. Because uh, sometimes mentholated soaps do, or mentholated aftershaves kind of do, um, have an effect on the scent. I didn't want that. So uh, I can just put it up. Few drops. Put that red in the face. Uh, BBS three pass shave, no cleanup required. I'm actually surprised that I didn't need a, a cleanup pass. Not a lot of razors do that for me. This razor was just able to go through three days of growth, and I am absolutely smooth. Beautiful razor. No burn from the aftershave. Looks like I did manage to get myself pretty good on the chin. I think it looks like I use it or something. Anyway. Um, 
So just so I smell nice for work, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple spritz of the Blue de Chanel. Um, what's so special about the parfum is it has sandalwood and uh, cedar from New Caledonia. But other than that, the top notes um, and the base notes in general are pretty much the same. So. All right, I'll just do two spritz on my pulse points. I'm gonna clean out the brush real quick. All right, we're gonna do a quick recap. And I gotta go. Today's soap and aftershave is Deep Blue Sea. Uh, by Sterling Soap Company. Today's razor is the Blackland Blackbird or the Brass Bird. This is solid brass, beautiful machinery, absolutely wonderful razor. This worked incredibly well for me. Uh, today's brush is the Paladin. This is the PK47 in Select Badger and Ebonite. Uh, looks incredibly soft badger brush, my favorite badger brush in my den right now. And, uh, and of course, the, uh, the blue, the Chanel, this is the parfum. Highly recommend picking it up. It's a beautiful scent. All right, guys. Well, that was today's shave of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. Um, please do check out that scent if you haven't. Sterling offers uh, very good sample size pucks. Um, and uh, until then, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. So y'all take care. Bye.